Okay, so I'm in a coffee shop right now and I'm using Cinema 4D on my Mac Mini, which is uh, hiding in here, and I'm using an Apple Vision Pro. And so what I'm running right now is an animation that I just made in Cinema 4D. And this is a full 3D program, so I can toggle around. I'm using a regular keyboard and an Apple trackpad. You can kind of see what our animation is. Great. Now, how do you get this out of this 2D plane? And let's say we want to bring this character in 3D and have them sitting right here on the desk. Let me show you how we do that. So what I'm going to do is first go to File, and then I'm going to go to Export, and we're going to choose to export this as an FBX. Make sure that when you're exporting the FBX, it has animation turned on uh, for the animation tracks, and then we'll go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to save this just to my Downloads folder, and hit Save, and I'm going to replace my old one. Cool. The only program you're going to need is this tool called uh, Reality Converter. So I'm going to open this up. And that's what it's going to look like. But let's pretend that wasn't already in here. So I'm going to delete the old one. So here's the Reality Converter. We just got to drag our FBX file from our downloads into there. So I'm going to go to my FBX. I'm going to click and drag and release it into Reality Converter. And there's our character. Now this file format will convert it to a format called USDZ. And that's what we need. So if you hit the play button, you'll see our animations in there. You can go in and uh, adjust all the properties of your character. Um, if you already have all your layers broken up to the you know, character's head, the eyelids, the robot, the back of the eyes. I only have one channel for each, but you could easily go in here and click on a color and then replace it accordingly. But let's just say we want just this. I'm now going to click on the share button and we're going to airdrop it from the Mac Mini to the Apple Vision Pro. So click on airdrop. And then there is my Apple Vision Pro and then watch it load into my reality. There it is. I can bring it onto the desk and I can study the animation. Look at that contact shadow. And there you have it, folks. I'm just gonna deselect here. Or how do I deselect? There we go. So now this character just lives on the desk while I'm working. And uh, we can, you know, you could proceed to go back to your animation work and keep doing your thing. But the, you know, the result here is quite insane because as you can see, we can now be like, you know, animating and working and have like, you know, our augmented reality asset here. We can toggle around it, orbiting around the object. This is a super futuristic workflow and I'm really excited for more people to see stuff like this. It's really cute. Might want to do a different paint job on him though. Go ahead and scale him up. You can also always click on that arrow and then go to one to one scale. It's too large. I'm just going to bring him down a little bit. Place him on the desk here. So cool.